Hey, my beautiful beauties. All right, let me see if I can get into it quickly. All right, I'm dedicating this to my wonderful men. Listen, men, I know sometimes you find it very difficult to take the advice of women because predominantly you feel like she's trying to snatch and emasculate your masculinity, you know, take it away from you and make you feel small or less than and lose that level of control that makes you into the man that you are today. No, you have some women who have our best interest, have your best interest at heart and they mean you well. They don't want your lives to go awry, to be snuffed out before it's time. And if you should pass, you should pass in peace, you know, gracefully out of this earth into heaven. All right, men, let us look at the story of David and Abigail. Remember her, her Abigail, sorry, or her husband, um, what's his name again? Naboth or whatever his name was, that awful man. You know, David protected the border so that nobody would rob him, steal from him because he was a wealthy man. And uh, time come for now, you know, David wanted some food and some things, you know, and said to Naboth, you know, I protected your place. My, my, my men and I, we protected your place and we did well for you and whatnot. And it's like he disrespected them. He disregarded what they did. Basically, who are you? I don't really know you. I, don't, I never asked to do, any, do anything. And, you know, and he went on and on. And let me tell you, man, it infuriated David. He became so angry that he lost good sense. Oh, this is a godly man we're talking about, you know, to show you that we're all human and we have been there from time to time. And David said, I'm going to get rid of the whole land. You and your family, you're bright and out of order and disrespectful. And somehow God spoke to Abigail, that's Naboth's wife, sensible, smart wise woman and she gathered up all the food and everything together and met David on the, on his way you know he was infuriated and she stopped him and she said you know respect you King David but in essence what would it profit you to get rid of this old fool he has no sense and you know she spoke wisdom into him and he said you know I'm going to listen to you and he did because he didn't I'm glad that God thwarted his plans that he did not distort his own destiny so sometimes, men, you can take sound advice from us women. You know, we have sense. Yeah, man. We have the, we have the same brain. Don't they say that you guys use more of the left side, we use more of the right side. But you can take sound advice. It can save you your life and your destiny. Remember, David needed to become king. And he didn't want to shed blood that God did not order him to shed blood in. You follow? So take sound and wise counsel, my dear men. All right, guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message.